is. To suggest that you can figure it out or that you have any sort of insight or intel is almost comical because it, everything just comes out of nowhere. It does. And that's by design. And then I don't know if Lanny McDonald and the people at the Hall of Fame love the debates that are sparked afterwards. I don't know if that's part of the process, but that's what it is right now. You have people, old school pundits saying, we don't need a forensic audit, audit of how they do their business at the Hockey Hall of Fame. It's their Hall of Fame, and that's how they choose to do it. Mm -hmm. And I actually have time for that. It's like, yeah, if you want to uh, conduct your business that way, be my guest. right? But I'm not going to put a lot of time and effort and resources, even though we have this segment, <laughs> into, <laughs> into debating their choices. I would much prefer to look at how they do it and say, is there any rational explanation for the choices you guys make? And the answer is obviously yes, but we choose not to disclose it. Well, there have been other organizations that have not been forced, but have heard from the fans of hockey and said, okay, we're going to be more transparent. And that's the Professional Hockey Writers Association. When the NHL awards used to be handed out, they'd just be like, all right, here that's are the guys. Point, Jason. Maybe here are the that's guys. the agent for change. Maybe the, the, that organization needs to try and discuss – the no, complete but, lack of transparency, but, and maybe they can influence the Hockey Hall of Fame. But, like, there was pushback from certain segments of the Hockey Writers Association, which we were members at the time when we were, you know, writing for a living as opposed to just talking. Poorly. Um, yeah, in both cases. Yeah. Um, you know, there were some people that in there that, and we've been in the meetings, that were like, I don't want my ballot published so I can be abused by people on social media. And ultimately, we just determined, like, hey, you got to be accountable for your vote. Exactly. Right? Like, it, 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 it matters to the fans. It matters to the players. You got to be accountable. So, we got to know which way you're voting. Accountability. And so, if some guy out there is just like, you know what? <laughs> I didn't have Connor McDavid on my ballot. I don't care for him. Then you can, you know, then you can f fight the good fight. Right? If you, if you, if you want to have that, fine. You're more than welcome to it. But people are going to know that that's your vote. Accountability is the key to this entire thing because it's really easy to do something that might face public criticism without having to face the music for it. 